Hello, guys. Uh, thank you for joining us today. It's awesome. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is showing you the 0 0.6 update coming when the stream ends is uh, going to be dropped in Steam. So that's really cool. And you'll see it's fully packed with awesome stuff. 0 0.6 uh, is going to drop a lot of things. Uh, there's a lot of improvements. There are going to be uh, graphics, um, performance, uh, and I've spent the last week just building, building dungeons, building open world. And right now I'm having a lot of fun. Like I'll be honest, building maps is really awesome. So I really like that. And, um, and yeah, I'm going to show you what I did. I did a couple of maps that are a little insane <laughs> and I hope you're going to like it. So yeah, we got a few villagers now. So that's the blacksmith. Looks awesome. Look at how gorgeous this is, guys. So I'll show you a little bit around. And so this is, uh, it's called the keg. Uh, so I didn't put the chairs. I didn't put uh, many people in there yet and stuff. I, I wanted to, I'm going to finish this map and I'm going to share it with you. But so far, pretty happy with it. So as you can see, it's a giant beer barrel. <laughs> and it, it flows into smaller beer barrels. And then you can go at the table and you can take a, Take a pint and serve yourself. Uh, but that's kind of the, you know, uh, drinking, eating area. I think it's going to be badass. I don't know what you think. Um, and so here you can see behind the gates, guard behind uh, rails. You know, you have all the beer barrels and we have some kind of secret thing over there. I'm going to show you after. I can truck along. So here we have kind of a... Not a VIP, but like, you know, a little bit of a special kind of place where it's guarded here. Uh, you have a little bit of a terrace right there. You can, you can go up. This guy looks important, don't you think? Yeah, this guy is also a new NPC you can use now. Uh, so this guy overlooks the whole thing, so it must be important. So here you can see and... You can see the beautiful scenery. All right, so that's one part of the end. I'm going to go a little bit faster. So I'm going to let this guy go uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start flying around. So yeah, if I, for example, here you have this uh, cupboard and if you move it, you can reveal there is a secret place behind. And this goes into a secret hallway. And as you notice, like, I am underground right now, so there's something new we've added that is pretty cool. And whoa, I think that's probably a good dungeon right here. Later on, if you remember, that's a feature that is not in, but later on you'll be able to have like this door connected to a dungeon that you choose. Uh, and we have a few rooms uh, here, so it has direct access to a dormitory. Uh, it's kind of poorly lit. I'm going to augment the lighting just a little bit because like I said, I didn't finish the lighting, but yeah, you can see how it goes. It's, it's really cool. You have this kind of ladders that go into uh, secret spots. Uh, one of the secret spots has actually a hallway to another place. So I, I really like to build like this. I wanted to really line up stuff like this everywhere, having beer bottles everywhere and stuff, and I didn't finish. So, uh, but here, yeah, you can, you can, uh, there was supposed to be a door, open door and then another exit, you know, this kind of basement exit. Uh, but right now it's kind of weird. I can exit the map anyway. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Uh, you can do all this kind of weird stuff um, and, and, and do some, some uh, secrets everywhere. It's really fun. But yeah, you can drop your NPCs. You can have them uh, hold the torch, for example. And yeah, they can light up. Um, they can light up everywhere you bring them. That's what I would, should have done, actually. Wait a minute. Does it work well? It does. Yep. Again, if you press F, uh, it will. Uh, so even if you're very far, you press F and it brings you to the asset you have. So that's really comfortable sometimes uh, when you want that. If you start looking at it a little bit like a Baldur's Gate, I mean, I don't know what you think, guys, but I think it looks 
amazing. It it's gorgeous, right? Look at that. If you go up, you can see the all the banisters and everything. Here, I really start to feel like this is what we wanted, right? Like you know, when we talked about Minir back in the Kickstarter era, that's what we wanted to be able to do and share it with everyone and stuff. And like this is not prototype. It's I can give you that. You can play with it tonight. So uh, that's really. I think we've made uh, we've made big steps, um, and it really looks cool. So here you can see you have dead leaves and pines and everything, but it ha actually has volume, meaning that if you look closely at the shadow, if you look at the shadow and I'm going to move the sun, you can see the shadow turns. But look, look closely here. It's kind of fake volume, but based on a real 3D asset. It kind of make it look like there is uh, volume. And what's nice about it is, again, because it's just the ground. So imagine when we're going to have all the little debris and the rocks and, the, and the, the grass and everything. If I take this now, select it, and oh, what's happening? I can now dig underground. Now I have this, right? And what happens if I do that? Fine, no problem. And what happens if I take these guys and I duplicate in the background? Now I delete this wall. Oh, look at that. And you can do it down. And here we go. And then I can duplicate up, and here you have it. It's pretty easy. Uh, you get the hang of it pretty quick. And as you can see, I am now digging into the dirt. So the big ball you've seen is something that is coming, and it's basically a custom light. So it's what we call an Omni light. And what it does is you can augment intensity. Uh, so I'm going to go to something like uh, one six, for example, this and that, for example. And so now I can hide. And as you can see, it gives uh, kind of a cool lighting. But when you want to see it, you press G. And so now you can move it around. And so that's very necessary for uh, building and creating, uh, you know, moods and everything. Now you can see I have this kind of ambient light. And so you can you can make it extremely bright, uh, but very tiny in area. You can put it green, blue, whatever, and it's not seen by the players. It's just like um, an ambient light. So that I wanted to show you. Uh, also, what do we have? And here's a pretty cool uh, place to show this guy, blacksmith. Uh, we have the butcher you've seen. We have kind of a merchant, bartender, whatever you want. We have some monks, cool looking with a robe. Um, I, don't, I don't know if you've seen the goblins. So we have some bad guys right here. And all the, all the NPCs that we show you are controllable, right? So you can take the goblin and you can start scaring the heck out of your players. You can jump on them at night or whatever trick you want to do on them you can you can do some cool stuff with lights behind them and everything so we got bear i'm going to showcase that outside in the sun i think it's going to be better yeah we have kitties who loves kitties he's looking at us look at this little guy we got i don't know why it's going on the ground like this but we got this, we got deer, we've got dogs. Are we going to be able to share um, buildings for others to use in their worlds? Absolutely. Everything that you've seen, I will share. Uh, when you have the 0 0.6, you'll be able to, to use it. Uh, so I'm going to show you boop, boop, boop. 
I'm in game again and now it's a dungeon. So what I wanted to show you is this. I did one good, uh, good looking dungeon room, as you can see. And so this is really cool. So you can play this way, you know, top view, kind of divinity, Baldur's Gate view. Uh, you can go in and if you go in, we have a floor system, if you remember. And so if I display the, the floors above, then I can have my actual uh, ceilings and everything. So if I play FPS with my with my friends, it's more immersive. But if I want to play more like uh, this, I can I can hide the uh, all the grounds above. Basically, you can right now have a dungeon with uh, different uh, stories, and it's really easy to do. So what I'm gonna try to show you is quickly. I'm gonna add a room, and I'll show you how quick and easy it is. So I'm going to go here. Now I'm going to just press L. I'm not going to press T, you know the drill. So I press L and here it is. My snippets there. I'm just going to line it up. I click tuk, 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 and you see all the assets popping in front of you. Uh, I'm going to do another one uh, because I want an L shaped. Uh, so I'm going to take the hallway number two and right here I'm going to press L. It's going to show the, the thing. I'm going to press hands up. It's building in front of me. And here it is. And for the um, for the room I had behind me, it's that I wanted to show you. Because it's kind of a complex room, right? This one. But it's not insane. So let's see how it goes. I'm going to press L. I can light it up here. And I'm just going to click. And so now you can see it's doing all the little things on the table and it's doing this kind of random uh, uh, furniture and sometimes it's going to do the, the ground, the floor and everything, a <laughs> possessed gizmo kind of, <laughs> exactly. And so uh, you're just, uh, I, I'm not doing anything. And so that's the power of, uh, you know, someone's doing a complex room. You just look at the screen and you're like, whoa, I like it. And you just have to do that. Um, uh, speed is going to be greatly increased later on. As you can see, my dungeon is taking shape and it's just like one room and a hallway but imagine when people are going to make rooms and rooms and rooms you're going to have and you can uh add a stair a staircase and you can build uh on another level and so you can go up uh i think i have a staircase i actually can show you maybe l i'm going to try to find the entrance boom like this stair up so as you can see stair up with the light and everything and now if i move my floor one up now this is my new floor so when i go there and i'm going to take a, a smaller room because i don't want to have you wait too much all right right now i have this floor and as you can see the the dungeon is kind of going down and so i can play right here in my room and if at some point my players wants to go down up oh, it's gonna hide what's above and now we can play below all right it looks gorgeous in my opinion i don't know what you think guys but i think it really looks good uh so dungeons are awesome uh the open world is really getting there and so uh, i hope you're gonna have fun in a few weeks for people that didn't back us on kickstarter it's gonna be free for everyone to use it's going to be super cool. Uh, we have you know, the classic red fox. We have we have a panda. <laughs> we have black wolves. Super scary when you have the, the right lighting uh, lined up. And then we have other guys. Uh, they're being cleaned up right now, but we have a lot more assets. So we have this cool girl. We have uh, this super creepy guys. We have assassins. We have... Uh, we have this Viking here. I have so many guys to show you. <laughs> I have so many. So uh, you have all of this. Really, really cool. Uh, what else do I? Oh yeah, I have a goblin. Cool goblin with a with a backpack full of uh, mineral. I mean, look at these guys. They look awesome. Really cool models. They all look so cool. And you see the real time rendering. Look at that. It looks gorgeous. It's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Isn't it cool? Did you ever see a VTT like this? 
I did not. It's really cool. What is your favorite feature in the entire game? 100 kilometer square procedural terrain. It's insane. It's really crazy. Like I said, with the scale, I'm trying to kind of emphasize on that, but it's hard to grasp how big it is. It's really hard. And like I said, it's two and a half times Skyrim, I think. They said, if you've played Skyrim, can you realize how nuts it is? And it's available now. I'm not saying like something we'll do later. It's the first thing we've focused on is procedural generation of, uh, of the world. And it really is extremely cool. Uh, you click, it generates, you can move the landforms around and you generate the biome and that's it. And then you, like I started to do, imagine you have a snippet of a village, you drag and drop it here, drag and drop another one over there, link a road procedurally so you don't have to do it by hand. It's, it's crazy. I mean, like you can go anywhere in the forest and you have a battle map. Automatic. You didn't have to do anything. If, like me, you've been online and be like, oh, a battle map in the forest, and you're like, oh, you're just scratching your head. You're like, oh, this one, this one. Like, you have, it, it's infinite now. On Minier, you're not even going to think about battle maps anymore. It's just going to be generated. And if you're, you're like, oh, yeah, but the generation is kind of random. I want something a little bit more. You go on the marketplace. Right now, it's going to be on Discord, but later on, it's going to be like, oh, let me pop the marketplace. And someone's going to have done a goblin camp. You're going to have 10 of them. And and in 10 kilometers square, you can put so many things, so many. It's huge. It's huge. This is another dungeon. It's another map. It's a dungeon I've done myself. So as you can see, you can play around with natural assets in the dungeon environment, but you can do some, I mean, like, it actually has some dark soul kind of mood, right? Does it a little bit? I'm going to delete this guy. I don't want too many torches, but... Yeah, dungeons doesn't have to be kind of this low ceiling. As you can see, you can have crazy stuff with like under lighting, walls of candles, and you can have all these things. And in the background, you can you can kind of guess there are some rock formations and let's trot a little bit more. Uh, if you take, like, this is one asset. Can I select it? It's one asset that you can use for houses, but you can scale it to a very high degree. At some point, if you do it too much, you'll see that the texture doesn't look too good. But in a dungeon like this, when it's kind of low light, you can kind of get away with it. So this stone uh, texture, if you go too close, it kind of look bad. But here, when you look like this, you're like, whoa, it's impressive. It, it, it's okay. It's, it doesn't matter. And when you look here, you have this kind of light reflection. It's gorgeous on the ground. It looks a little bit wet. I love it. It's so cool. And look at that, guys. It's my boss room. So you can see the boss. I don't know if you do. And it's moving. I'll show you here. I can't even select it. I don't even have the outline. So it's here. And so it's basically a token that I've scaled to an insane amount. And it's in the background behind this kind of bone, uh, bone throne. And so I've done this kind of insane throne room. I think it looks really good and it's really big. And so I've done this, uh, this throne thing and I have a snippet of it so I can share it with you and you can see the boss behind. You can see it move. I'll show you if I uh, fly a little bit around all the work. So you can have, you know, this kind of pillar play and you can have this huge obelisk. You go like this and you go a little bit like Divinity Baldur's Gate mode. Uh, I think it looks amazing. You can just get your players around and you can do your battles. As a GM, you can drop a character like this, a mob anytime you want to surprise your players you can control it move around uh i don't know what you think guys i mean like it's it's insane amount of work from uh the team i want to really thank them again i will see you guys later on let's go build let's do uh some snippets and let's share the love it's gonna be amazing all right bye guys talk to you soon